Namaskar and good evening. <coughs> Today we will take a look at another software company by name Mastek Limited. It's not a very big company, but a growing company. <coughs> the, its uh, Q4 performance is uh, reasonably good. It shows it is growing and it is making its efforts to grow. Now let us look at uh, the Q4 results first on year-on-year -year basis. That is comparison with this quarter with uh, the uh, last year's uh, same quarter. Q4 versus Q4 of last year. Total income current quarter is 274 crores. Last year same quarter 230.8 crores. The growth is 18.7% total income. 274 crores versus 230.8 crores. Growth is 18.7%. Operating income is 267.1 crores versus 223.7 crores. Growth is 15.2%. Uh, Operating income has grown by 15.2% while total income has grown by 18.7%. EBITDA 42.2 crores uh, current quarter versus 35 crores last year same quarter. Growth is 20.7%. Net profit is 27.4 crores current quarter. 19.4 crores last year same quarter and uh, growth is 41.3 percent reasonably impressive total income has grown by 18.7 percent net profit has grown by 41.3 percent year on year basis now let us look at see the current quarter with the previous quarter that is quarter on quarter basis <coughs> total income current quarter we have seen 274 crores previous quarter is 271 crores growth is 1.1 percent Operating income 267.1 crores versus 265 crores, uh, growth is 1.9 percent. EBITDA is 42.2 crores versus last quarter 40 crores, uh, growth is 5.5 percent. Net profit 27.4 crores current quarter and 26.5 crores previous quarter growth is 3.3 percent so sequentially also it has grown though minimally 3.3 percent but uh, iran air basis it has grown by 41.3 percent at profit so reasonably impressive <coughs> now let us see uh, for the current financial year that is fi 19 versus fi 18 the total income is 1058 crores in the current uh, year versus 838.2 crores in the previous year growth uh, growth in total income uh, year on uh, year basis is 26.2 percent ebitda 156.3 crores in the current uh, year versus 120.7 crores in the previous year growth is 29.6 percent net profit 101.5 crores versus 70 crores growth is 45 percent not bad uh, total income has grown year on year 26.2 percent net profit has grown 45 percent now the new accounts built during the quarter uh, the company mastic has added seven clients during the quarter and 37 clients during the year fi19 so Quarterly addition is 7 <coughs> and uh, uh, annual addition is 19. The total clients count as on 31.319 is uh, 157 uh, uh, um, LTM that is last 12 months, 157 compared to 165 LTM in Q3. Q4, 157, uh, Q3 was 165. There is a slight down. That is some... Uh, clients uh, work is over like that the top five clients revenue is 41.7 percent big clients they have uh, their uh, the revenue that comes from them is 41.7 percent top 10 clients account for 58.8 percent but total clients uh, number is 157 now the 12 month order backlog is 544.9 crores as on 31.319 compared to 517.3 crores as on 31.12.18. 
ஃபைவ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் நைன் க்ரோர்ஸ் ஆஸ் ஆன் தேர்ட்டி ஒன் த்ரீ ஆஃப் திஸ் இயர் கம்பேர்ட் டு ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் செவன்டீன் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ க்ரோர்ஸ் ஆஸ் ஆன் தேர்ட்டி ஒன் டுவெல் எயிட்டீன் தட் இஸ் ப்ரீவியஸ் குவார்ட் ரெண்ட் ஸோ பே ஆர்டர் பேக்லாக் ஹேஸ் க்ரோன் பை சம்திங் லைக் தேர்ட்டி க்ரோர்ஸ் எம்ப்ளாயிஸ் எம்ப்ளாயிஸ் ஆஸ் ஆன் தேர்ட்டி ஒன் த்ரீ டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீன் ஆர் டூ தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி நைன் எம்ப்ளாயிஸ் ஸோ the size of the company is uh, small it's but it is growing now 2000 uh, uh, <coughs> 69 employees of whom 1260 were based uh, offshore in india while the rest were on various on site locations so it is almost uh, uh, half out of 2069 1264 are offshore in india uh, balance uh, uh, that is about 800 are uh, uh, on site locations uh, which is impressive employees count as on 31 12 2018 was 2088 from 2088 uh, it has uh, uh, come down to 2069 now dividend they have declared a dividend of 100% that is the uh, 5 rupees per share uh, face value of 5 rupees including interim di- dividend uh, if you take uh, it becomes 170% so dividend distribution is quite impressive appointments uh, uh, denis badman has been appointed as chief business officer of the mastic group so that's a new appointment denis badman has been appointed as the chief business officer of master group now uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, we'll see further cash balance 244.5 crores uh, as on 313019 compared to 207.3 crores as on 31218 so cash balance has been uh, improving now something like th- 37 crores Uh, cash balance has improved from uh, last quarter end to this current quarter end now if you see the other operational details uk has always been mastex uh, primary geography so most of the orders are coming from uk growth was mainly driven by government led contracts especially in uk and retail businesses in the us in q4 if you see particularly uh uk uh, accounts for 76.5% of the revenue us accounts for 22% others account for 1.5% uk 76.5% more than 3/4 of the revenue comes from uk for mastic so uh, the appointment of uh, denis Brad- badman is uh, also mainly because of uh, such considerations now if you look at the revenue analysis uh, by <coughs> no geography we have seen uk 76.5% us 22% others 1.5% but if you look at segments various uh, segments 42.4% comes from application development and uh, 21.65% comes from digital commerce 20.4% application support and maintenance 9.4% from business analytics and other analytics 3.9% uh, assurance and testing 2.3% agile computing <coughs> so mastic is a good company the share price currently is around uh, around 400 dot uh, but uh, it is growing it is growing and uh, every quarter it is proving its uh, uh, metal <coughs> so let us watch but it is a small company and a growing company so uh, let us watch how it fares in the future um, people uh, who are not see small companies can grow faster they are not looking for big projects they are looking for medium sized projects or even small sized projects uh, where revenues will come uh, more easily where competition is less tough and uh, uh, you can um, perform more easily uh, the uh, employee count also is 2000 plus 
But uh, uh, if you remember, Infosys and TCS also have started like that only. Uh, um, <coughs> so, from hundreds and thousands only, now they have come to several lakhs. Uh, TCS is in 4 lakhs plus and uh, uh, Infosys is in 2 lakhs plus. Mastec is the 2000 plus. So, small company, but uh, people can take a chance. In small companies only, a growth can be faster. That is there. Hmm? But watch out. Hmm? Mastec has been growing, will be growing. But uh, it is uh, the weakness, if you look at that, it is UK-centric as on date. Uh, so, uh, uh, but it is getting uh, UK government-led contracts many. Uh, <coughs> so, one way it is good, but uh, what Brexit will do to it, uh, we don't know. Brexit, Brexit, people are talking, but uh, nothing is materializing there. Uh, uh, <coughs> but uh, uh, companies like Master can get uh, uh, contracts anywhere. Uh, so, uh, it has got uh, presence in UK, uh, US uh, and some other countries also. Uh, let us hope it will grow. Mm, we want all uh, companies to grow and go for application development. Uh, that's not happening. They are going for projects. Okay, for the present, let the projects grow. Let us see how uh, Mastec grows. Uh, now, you took a... It, it depends upon whether you will invest in it or not. Depends on your aptitude for small IT companies. Small IT companies uh, have strengths and have weaknesses also. Strengths are more, weaknesses are slightly less. Now, the, they are battling for uh, growth. Let us see how it uh, performs in the future. Thank you.